Berkholderia Sodomali, Wikipedia article audio. Bacillus Sodomali Whitmore 1913, Bacterium Whitmore Stanton and Fletcher 1921, Maleomyces Sodomali Breed 1939, Lurfleurella Sodomali Brindle and Cowan 1951, Pfeifferella Sodomali, Pseudomonas Sodomali Haynes 1957. Burkholderia Sodomali is a gram negative, bipolar, aerobic, modal rod shaped bacterium. It is a soil dwelling bacterium endemic in tropical and subtropical regions worldwide, particularly in Thailand and northern Australia. It infects humans and animals and causes the disease melioidosis. It is also capable of infecting plants. Identification Disinfection B. Sodomalii measures 2.5 mm in length and 0.40.8 mm in diameter and is capable of self-propulsion using flagella. The bacteria can grow in a number of artificial nutrient environments, especially betaine and arginine-containing ones. In vitro, optimal proliferation temperature is reported around 40 degrees Celsius in neutral or slightly acidic environments. The majority of strains are capable of fermentation of sugars without gas formation. Bacteria produce both exo- and endotoxins. The role of the toxins identified in the process of melioidosis symptom development has not been fully elucidated. B. Pseudomalii is not fastidious and grows on a large variety of culture media. Ashdown's medium may be used for selective isolation. Cultures typically become positive in 24 to 48 hours. Colonies are wrinkled, have a metallic appearance, and possess an earthy odor. On gram staining, the organism is a gram-negative rod with a characteristic safety pin appearance. On sensitivity testing, the organism appears highly resistant and that again differentiates it from B. malii, which is in contrast, exquisitely sensitive to a large number of antibiotics. For environmental specimens only. Differentiation from the non-pathogenic B. thailandensis using an arabinose test is necessary. The laboratory identification of B. pseudomalii has been described in the literature. The classic textbook description of B. pseudomalii in clinical samples is of an intracellular, bipolar staining, gram-negative rod, but this is of little value in identifying the organism from clinical samples. Some suggest the Wazen stain is useful for this purpose, but this has been shown not to be the case. Laboratory identification of B. pseudomalii can be difficult, especially in Western countries where it is rarely seen. The large, wrinkled colonies look like environmental contaminants, so are often discarded as being of no clinical significance. Colony morphology is very variable and a single strain may display multiple colony types, so inexperienced laboratory staff may mistakenly believe the growth is not pure. The organism grows more slowly than other bacteria that may be present in clinical specimens, and in specimens from non-sterile sites, is easily overgrown. Non-sterile specimens should, therefore, be cultured in selective media or be cepacea medium. For heavily contaminated samples, such as feces, a modified version of Ashdowns that includes norfloxacin, amoxicillin, and polymyxin B has been proposed. In blood culture, the BACT slash alert MB system by Biomirier has been shown to have superior yields compared to conventional blood culture media. Medical importance Even when the isolate is recognized to be significant, commonly used identification systems may misidentify the organism as Chromobacterium violaceum or other non-fermenting, 
gram-negative bacilli such as Burkholderia cepacea or Pseudomonas aeruginosa. Again, because the disease is rarely seen in Western countries, identification of B. pseudomalii in cultures may not actually trigger alarms in physicians unfamiliar with the disease. Routine biochemical methods for identification of bacteria vary widely in their identification of this organism. The API 20NE system accurately identifies B. pseudomalii in 99% of cases, as does the automated Vitec 1 system, but the automated Vitec 2 system only identifies 19% of isolates. The pattern of resistance to antimicrobials is distinctive, and helps to differentiate the organism from P. aeruginosa. The majority of B. pseudomalii isolates are intrinsically resistant to all aminoglycosides, but sensitive to CO amoxiclov. This pattern of resistance almost never occurs in P. aeruginosa and is helpful in identification. Unfortunately, the majority of strains in Sarawak, Borneo, are susceptible to aminoglycosides and macrolids, which means the conventional recommendations for isolation and identification do not apply there. Antibiotic Treatment and Sensitivity Testing Molecular methods of diagnosis are possible, but not routinely available for clinical diagnosis. Fluorescence in situ hybridization has also been described, but has not been clinically validated, and it is not commercially available. In Thailand, a latex agglutination assay is widely used, while a rapid immunofluorescence technique is also available in a small number of centers. B. pseudomalii is susceptible to numerous disinfectants, including benzalkonium chloride, iodine, mercuric chloride, potassium permanganate, 1% sodium hypochlorite, 70% ethanol, 2% glutaraldehyde, and to a lesser extent, phenolic preparations. B. pseudomalii is effectively killed by the commercial disinfectants, Parasafe and Verkan. The microorganism can also be destroyed by heating to above 74 degrees Celsius for 10 minutes or by ultraviolet irradiation. B. pseudomalii is not reliably disinfected by chlorine. B. pseudomalii infection in humans is called melioidosis, its mortality is 20 to 50 percent even with treatment. Pathogenicity mechanisms and virulence factors the antibiotic of choice is ceftazidime. While various antibiotics are active in vitro, they have been proven to be inferior in vivo for the treatment of acute melioidosis. Disc diffusion tests are unreliable when looking for CO trimoxisole resistance in B. pseudomalii and a tests or agar dilution tests should be used in preference. The actions of CO trimoxisole and doxycycline are antagonistic, which suggests these two drugs ought not to be used together. Vaccine Candidates The organism is intrinsically resistant to gentamicin and colistin, and this fact is helpful in the identification of the organism. Canamycin is used to kill B. pseudomalii in the laboratory but the concentrations used are much higher than those achievable in humans. B. pseudomalii is an opportunistic pathogen. An environmental organism, it has no requirement to pass through an animal host to replicate. From the point of view of the bacterium, human infection is a developmental dead end. Strains which cause disease in humans differ from those causing disease in other animals, by possessing certain genomic islands. It may have the ability to cause disease in humans because of DNA it has acquired from other microorganisms. Its mutation rate is also high, and the organism continues to evolve even after infecting a host. B. pseudomalii is able to invade cells. It is able to polymerize actin, 
and to spread from cell to cell, causing cell fusion and the formation of multinucleated giant cells. It possesses a uniquely physogenic type 6 secretion system that is required for cell-cell spread and virulence in mammalian hosts. The bacterium also expresses a toxin called lethal factor 1. B. pseudomalii is one of the first proteobacteria to be identified as containing an active type 6 secretion system. It is also the only organism identified that contains up to six different type 6 secretion systems. B. pseudomalii is intrinsically resistant to a large number of antimicrobial agents by virtue of its efflux pump mechanism. This mediates resistance to aminoglycosides, tetracyclines, fluoroquinolones, and macrolids. No vaccine is currently available but a number of vaccine candidates have been suggested. Aspartate beta semialdehyde dehydrogenase gene deletion mutants are oxotrophic for diaminopamelid in rich media and oxotrophic for DAP, lysine, methionine, and threonine in minimal media. The Delta ASD bacterium protects against inhalational melioidosis in mice.